Ugh, turn that excitement down a notch, would ya? Ugh, what the... And who are you, anyway? Nice to meet you, chap. My name is... Wait. I am... I... Who am I? Oh, no. No, 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 no. This can't be happening. I don't even recall this place. Am I in a freaking forest? And what the hell am I doing in a crashed spaceship? If I am something like a fancy astronaut, I seem to really suck at it. All right. Breathe. There is an explanation for everything. One thing after the other. Where the heck are we, little guy? The garden? Whose garden, exactly? Cell? Just X-E-L? It doesn't ring a bell, but it seems you know what you're talking about. All right, little buddy. Let's check out this garden and look for that mysterious cell person. Let's hope they have the tools to remove this rock that hurts like hell out of my face. This place is really beautiful, in a weird and kind of creepy way. Wait, this place is no forest? Storage for what? Why do I even ask? Oh, my head! I think this thing... That's much better. It looks pretty when it's fixed. What does this pillar do exactly, chap? Chronal energy distributing it? What does this even mean? Hey! Why is it shooting at me? thinks I am. goes our hope to find a human in this place. I hope it's okay if I borrow this from you for a bit. This should give us some protection against lasers and other crap they throw at us. Let's hope this will finally get us out of this junkyard. And bam! Hmm. Come on. <laughs> There's nothing to turn around. <gasps> what the? <gasps> okay, Sleeping Beauty. You want to dance? Let's dance. <laughs> ah! I need to hit that engine while it's cooling off.
not bad. <laughs> Whoa. Keep it cool. I almost just got fried to a crisp by this gigantic and stupid overwatcher. Overseer, and you show up all cloaky dokey with this way too relaxed attitude. So, no, mister, I will not keep it cool. All right, I get it. I'm sorry. So, you're not with them? Them? Dude, I don't even know where I am or who I am. Wait, you. You came down with that ship, right? More like I came crashing down in it, yeah. Are you, Xel? Follow me. Hey, wait up! We should leave this place. It's not safe. Thanks for making that clear. I thought the killer robots were kind of a dead giveaway. They are not our biggest problem. Cool. Can't wait to see what's going to try to kill me next. Thanks for the help, by the way. Back there with that overseer? I didn't do anything. Exactly. Hey, you seem to be able to handle yourself just fine. Yeah, because I have to. Yeah. <laughs> So you don't know who you are? Nope, all blank. You remind me of someone I knew who was very much like you. How about... Sure, whatever, mister... Just as... Hey, I wanted to choose your name as well. All right. Go ahead. Now my head is already filled with your actual name. At least something's in there now. Rude. Where are you taking me? My home. I don't usually go home with someone on the first date. Uh, this? Uh, I, wasn't, I, mean, I wouldn't. Um, yeah. Relax, Des. I was just trying to lighten the mood between all this fighting robots business. Is that? This. This is Needle Eye, home of the survivors. It's. Wow. Wait till you see it from the inside. So there are more humans after all. I'm sorry if they seem unwelcoming. We don't have the best experiences dealing with outsiders. Outsiders? So that's what you meant when you asked me if I'm with them. Don't you need, like, more proof or something to show that I'm not with those outsiders? No, you're good. How can you be so sure? If you ever meet them, you'll know why. Here we are. This elevator takes us right into the heart of Needle Eye. Okay, I played your game long enough. What is happening here? And who is Excel? You're looking at it. Wait, you are Excel? No. All of this is Excel. Please, don't go full meta on me. I might not be able to remember a lot from my life, but I have a feeling that I am not a particularly spiritual person. No, I mean, look out of the window. Excel is not a person. It's a space arc. What? Almost 100 years ago, our people had to leave their home planet. Our planet became uninhabitable, and a small amount of the population was sent out to look for a new home. So we are traveling through space right now? Actually, we're not. The Ark stopped functioning properly decades ago, before I was even born. Wait, so you and your people are living on a stranded spaceship that is floating in space right now? You could say so. Yes. This might be the reason why you crashed into the Ark. Although, I never heard the Elder mentioning anything about space colonies that far out. Do you remember what your home looked like? No. 
And I don't know if it's the crash, or if this piece of rock stuck in my forehead is messing with my brain. I'm sure the Elder knows a way to help you out. This Elder dude sure sounds like the big cheese of this place. Yeah, he's actually the last person alive to witness the launch of the Ark. Is that guy a blood-sucking undead, or are you keeping him in a jar? How is he still alive? No, none of that creepy stuff. Time works differently here, and maybe he just has some good genes. You have good genes, that's for sure. I'm sorry, what was that? Nothing. Here we are. Welcome to Needle Eye, the safe haven of Xel. This place looks really lovely. I like the handcrafted style. This used to be the amusement district for the worker class on the Xel. Workers? So there was a hierarchy on this arc. Yeah, the Elder can tell you more about this. When I was born, there were only us survivors here in Needle Eye. And the others out there. Wow, every answer you give just raises more questions. How original. I'm really sorry. This must be so much to take in. Let's head to the Elder right away to clear things up. Why don't you go ahead and I'll just check this place out on my own? On my own with my buddy chap here. Are you sure? This place is pretty big. Just tell me where we should meet. The Elder's Hut is at the top of the city. You can't miss it. If you get lost, ask around. Just tell them you're with me. Got it. See you, Daz. Don't let me wait too long. Welp, here I am, indeed. Uh, Desmond. <laughs> Couldn't stop talking about welcome to Needle Eye, child. Um, hi, Mr. Elder. Sir? Oh, please. You can call me Esgari. Iskari, I don't want to come off like an ass, but this feels like a cult. Is this a cult? Uh, call it whatever you want, but you are welcome here. Uh, Desmond found you and your robotic friend in the abandoned district of the Garden, I heard. Chap found me in a crashed spaceship, but I don't know how I got there. She has no recollection of who she is or even where she comes from, boss. Hey, this is kind of personal info, and you just spilled it all in front of your cult. I think it's important to share that piece of information. And this is not a cult. That's something someone in a cult would say. Ah, memory loss. Hmm. Might be a side effect of a hyperspace jump. You must have traveled quite the distance. As I said, I wouldn't know. But I have a question for you, old man. I'm eager to quench your thirst for knowledge. Right. So these crystal pillar thingies on your ship that emit chronal... Yes, that whole spiel. They give me major headaches. And I think they're connected to the stone stuck in my face. Hmm. What a curious person you are. Is it true that you defeated an overseer? I'm not one to brag, but yeah, I did. And I have the burns to prove it. We might actually be able to help you. And by helping you, you might help us in our direst hour. Mm, this sounds overly dramatic. I love it. I'm in. I told you. She's the person we needed. As you see, we were able to establish a society here that is self-sustainable and uses what the station has to offer. But the engine that keeps everything running is starting to overheat. Mm, this is causing harm to the very fragile artificial ecosystem that we need to survive. 
I don't know if I'm much of a fixer-upper, but I sure can whack things. Don't worry about the fixing part. Hmm? You will be responsible for the slice and dice part on this mission anyway. What is the mission, and who is that woman? I like her style. Call me Cheryl. I'm the fixer-upper of this place. Nice to meet you guys. You can call me... Reed, I suppose. And that's Chap. What Elder Askari is trying to say is that this arc is about to heat up to a level where we either combust spontaneously or blow up. Both scenarios are suboptimal. We need to cool down the engine floor ASAP. When you're ready for quite the adventure, meet me at my workshop. I'll head out to secure the area surrounding the wilds. Like you secured me back then with that overseer. Hey, come on. Uh, good luck, children. The fate of Cell lies on your shoulders. I see. No pressure. Hey, Reed. Thanks for helping us out. You just landed here, and now you're all wrapped up in this mess. I feel kind of shitty about this. Please, don't. I'm not keen on getting blown up as well, and I have nothing else planned for the next few days anyway, as far as I can remember. So... I like your attitude. You fit right into our crowd. So, are you ready for the mission briefing? Give me the tea, girl. So, we have to cool down the engine floor. Therefore, we need to redirect the cooling system to it. Years ago, the cooling system was routed towards the science station. What for? Actually, no one knows. Even Elder Ascari is clueless for once. The last time we sent someone there to investigate, she never came back. Uh, let me guess. I should try my luck next. You will not go alone. Des is going as well, and you will be his backup. At least we won't die alone. That won't happen. I can assure you of that. How can you be so sure about this? Because the last expedition didn't have me to craft gear and gadgets. Fair enough. When are we heading to the science station? Not directly. The science station is not accessible due to the damage in the area leading up to it. That's why you'll need to visit the wilds first and get something from me. The wilds? Oh, that doesn't sound as inviting as the garden. It is indeed extremely dangerous and full of wild animals that will try to rip you to shreds. Okay. Cool. Before the incident, the place was a habitat for different species. They installed a robot there that took care of the flora and fauna. I need you to find that robot and get me its Biosynth Silk Dispenser. Biosync Silk Pencil what? You will know what I mean once you see the robot. Once you bring me the dispenser, I'll be able to build you something super cool to traverse gaps and do other cool stunts as well. And save Xel and its people. Yeah, and that. You'll get to Desmond if you go through the gate near the elevator exit after leaving Needle Eye. Okay, give me a moment. Recap time. Go back to the garden and find Des behind the gate. Get into the deadly wilds. Find the robot there, get its dispenser thing, bring it back to you. I do some DIY magic. You get a thing that gives you access to other parts of the cell. I go into the science station, cool things down, Saved the day. Everyone lives! Happy people everywhere. We make out. Fireworks. Boom. Consider it done. And if you find some junk on your way, feel free to bring it to me, and I'll see if I can upgrade your gear. Gotcha. See ya. Come back in one piece. It's our first day on Excel. I'm so excited. We actually got on the ship. I know I should feel bad about the others, but right now, I have to put me first. They already handed out the work schedules. Things are moving fast here. I'm actually looking forward to the work. It will make the wait for the arrival pass so much faster. 
Whoa, that boy looks magical. Looks like one of those trees and stories that needs to be protected so the world stays in balance. An evil dude gets too greedy and fuses with a monster in the end, and the unlikely hero is to punch him into oblivion. Small groups of us were allowed to visit the wildlife preserve today. It was great to see that we also take care of the animals from our home. Until we were hit with the realization of how many thousands of species we had to leave behind. We died way before we built the Xel. We really screwed them over. You mean, except a stranger that is talking to kids? I mean, anything that I, as an adult, should check out. There's this secret cave hidden behind a waterfall nearby. Hey, don't tell her! Why not? We're too scared to go in there anyway. So? Maybe we can get the treasure from there, and when she feels safe, we just snatch it from her. Um, I'm still here, and I can hear everything you say. Kinda weird thing to say to a kid. Why do you have to be like this? Desmond is so cool, he can do anything. Oh yeah? Can he defeat an overseer? Heck yeah! Even the one with legs! There are overseers with legs? Yeah! And Desmond can do this thing with his bow staff where he goes, Kia! Kadish! Kroop! I should learn that move, it seems. Forget about it. Desmond only teaches it to his favorite students. Like us. Yeah, so don't mess with us. Okay, we get it. You really like Desmond. Are. Oh, hey. Wow, this looks like a battlefield. Are you okay? Yeah, sorry for the mess. The Dingbots are trying to invade the wilds. Are they... organizing? Yeah, that's new and horrifying, actually. Can you continue to keep them at bay and off my back? You want to go in there alone? This, please. I have seen some shit. Plus, you would totally slow me down in there. Reed, please be careful. We can't lose you too. Stop being so dramatic. Try to keep at least one hand so you can high-five me later. There are time pillar fragments everywhere. I will never. Ah, the thing in my head! It, it feels like my skull is going to. What, what happened? Where, where am I? The stone. It brought us here. Back in time? webs are made by the machine we have to bring to Thurl? If this is the end product, does that mean the robot carrying the machine is, a uh... FML. 
Looks like we are behind the curtains. Everything has gone to shit. Soon as news broke that the Paradox engine is malfunctioning, all hell broke loose. They are riding and trying to overthrow the leadership. If they want to act like wild animals, I will show them wild. Hell, I released all of them, except the mother. She'll be ready if the packs return to nurture them back to health. I will wait this one out until the leaders find me and will reward me for my bravery. Sounds like we have this guy to thank for making everyone's life even harder. I heard that the workers started complaining a lot. It's not that I don't sympathize with them. I just can't stand this victim-like attitude. Maybe if they'd made themselves more useful before our departure, they could have become a guard or something like that. My family worked hard for generations and deserved to govern the Xel. They can't possibly fathom how hard it is to make unpleasant decisions on a daily basis. Did I ever mention that I hate jump scares? Like, more than anything. <laughs> So not ready for this chat. Oh my god. Look at her butt! This looks like the thing that Cheryl was talking about. It looks super gross though. I bet that Arachnobot won't let us get that junk in her trunk. <laughs> So happy this is over. Who designed this and thought it wouldn't trigger all fears that anyone could have? Anyway, let's grab Cheryl's new toy and see what she can build for us back down in Needle Eye. Uh, you look sick, to be honest. Yeah, some dingbutts might have hit me before I hit them. You should leave and rest. I got what we were looking for, by the way. I knew you were the right person for this. Hmm, the right person to almost get eaten by wolves, weird fetish plants, and a gigantic robotic spider? You make it sound really bad. And guess what? This stone in my head makes me jump to different places and shit. Are you making this up? So the crash landing slash amnesia were not a dead giveaway that there is something wrong with me? Now that you mention... Ah. Oh. Let's head back to Needle Eye before that gets infected. No freaking way! You did it! Barely. How was it? You mean the part you forgot to mention or the other parts that also almost killed me? So the Keeper unit was still active? If you talk about the gigantic robotic spider that tried to squish me, I only have one thing to say. Why? They needed someone or something to take care of all the different species, but couldn't risk human lives. So they designed a robot that can endure animal bites and traverse the diverse enclosures with ease. The small spiderlings were used to give the animals injections and collect scientific data, while the silk was used to restrain problematic animals. But why not make it look like a really huggable dude, like Chap or whatever? Sadly, taking care of animals was not the only purpose of this unit. They used it during the revolution to restrain and terminate rebels. There was a revolution on the Excel? Not much is known about that period. Just that the Elder led a group of pacifists into Needle Eye and made it safe from those who sought only death and destruction. Dark. Speaking of destruction, here is the thingy you asked me for. It's... beautiful. Is 
is it though? The artificial silk has bonded with the bio component. That is super gross. Perfect. It will open up so many new possibilities. I need to get my hands dirty. Come back to me once you've briefed Elder Iskari about the situation and found Desmond. All right. Have fun. I managed to survive the wilds. I had no doubt about that. Desmond got hurt, though. Yes, we already took care of him. He is resting at his dojo. Make sure to pay him a visit. He seems to feel bad that he couldn't help you more. That's silly. The Dingbots were trying to overrun the place, and he managed to fight them off by himself. So, they are really organizing themselves. That is troubling. Speaking of trouble, that thing in my head, it did something super weird when I was near a broken chrono pillar. It transported me somewhere else. A place where soldiers that looked like bad guys went full aggro on me. It was the Excel, but before all of this... It seems your destiny is tied to the cell, and its cores from the Paradox Engine. The Paradox Engine? Ah, with experimental tech, the survivors of our home were able to manipulate space, time, and gravity in order to travel to our destination in a timely manner. But something went really wrong, and two of the cores were lost. Which brings us to the situation at hand. But lost means it can be found, right? Ah, uh, it is rumored that the space core is buried deep in the science station. So unearthing that core might give us some clues about what's going on with me. And since I have to go there anyway to redirect the cooling system... It seems like your adventure just got a bit bigger, my brave Reed. Mm, it's not that I'm being super selfless. I don't want to blow up with this space station, and I want to know who I am. So, this seems like the best way for me personally. I really admire your spirit. Good luck, Reed. Someone looks happy. You have no idea how happy this gal is. So, I guess it worked? It looks... icky. Sticky, to be exact. If you shoot this at an appropriate surface, the web shooter will attach itself and pull you towards it. So that's how I'll be able to traverse that gap. Is this really safe? You worry too much. You survive the wilds, you'll survive some web slinging. I'll give this prep talk a C for critically ineffective. Stop throwing shade and start shooting these webs and save our sorry hides. I'll show that collapse bridge who's the boss. A uh, word of warning, Reed. And here comes the catch. If you pass the bog, you might encounter other humans who are not Needle Eye citizens. The others everyone is so afraid of? Yes. Stay as far away from them as possible. Try to stay on the path that leads north. This will lead you to the gate of the science station. Cross the broken bridge. Head north. Stay away from others. Which sounds kind of xenophobic. Enter the science station. How did you get here? Oh, I just used this really cool web shooter Shirl made for me. Shirl made that for you? Me and the other scouts had to climb and take day-long detours. Well, I had to fight off a gigantic spider to get this. It's not a contest, you know. Yeah, it kind of is one, where no one wins, to be exact. Looks like a needle-eye outpost. Yeah, 
doesn't look like a departure on good terms. The closer we get to the science station, the more it gets. That must be the cooling system we need to fix. must be this way. Since it's about to blow up, the area above it is heating up. Literally like hell. Can't go further until we've redirected the cooling system from the science station. It's now six months after our initial estimated time of arrival. We all have nothing else to do anyway. But we can't keep going on like this. My people are so overworked. One by one they fall ill. We lost so many already. And the infirmary is not taking any additional patients. There's something fishy going on in there anyway. But man, why does everything feel so hopeless? Outsider! to killing anything that moves. End is nigh. Only pure burn and glory. Your grammar is not that pure, to be honest. Sorry, can't help it. You are not them. You mean like the needle eye citizens? <sighs> Betrayed old ways. Yeah, man. I don't know. They seem kind of cozy and friendly compared to your clique. You are sheep. Lied to. We are true cell. Lied to? By who? Who stole monster that came to judge us? Okay, man. This kind of tinfoil crap is really getting out of hand. You will die now. Had it coming. Get coming. treatment. This terminal looks like it's locked behind a certain security system. So you can potentially bypass the security? My best bet is that Shrill knows what to do. We encountered a hackable terminal, but it was too complex for Chap to bypass. No worries, buddy. If you can access the system at all, it should be easy to upgrade you, so you can bypass it eventually. He can be upgraded? But I like him exactly as he is. I'll just change some circuits and alloys so that Chap doesn't overheat while dealing with the data influx. Don't get too excited, buddy. This sounds dangerous. I wouldn't dare do anything that would cause him harm. Just bring me the necessary parts. <laughs> If 
it's the cold or the creepiness of this place that I have goosebumps. It is hard to keep track of the days, but I have the feeling we can barely hit our shift goals. The pressure we feel from Xel management is nothing compared to what the workers have to endure. We can't produce dingbots fast enough to replace the amount of patients we are losing. These families were pre-selected due to their physical and mental resilience, but the amount of work they have to fulfill to earn their place. We can't treat so many injuries and diseases and at the same time push our research. I shouldn't have mentioned this. That wasn't ominous at all. was made of 100% asshat material. Management has all of us working on one last ditch effort. They extracted the space core from the Paradox engine, so we can try to harness its power to do an experimental warp to our destination. It will take us months to figure out how to even activate it with the resources at hand, and we're only given weeks. You know, at this point, it can't get worse. They had to jinx it. We had to close the infirmary. I'm hiding with the research team. Riots broke out after the government started raiding the housing areas of the working class. The government thinks the Paradox engine was sabotaged by one of the people working that area. I heard the warden of the preservation area unleash the animals into the public areas. He was referring to the wilds. 
This sounds so dark. Imagine fighting oppression and suddenly being mauled by wild ants. is already rising. Almost there. The temperature is already rising. Definitely not me. Desmond gave me my current moniker. She sounded sincere. We should try to get some answers.
poor thing. Bred to kill, never leaving this lab, only to be infected with a symbiont. I just hope this was the last act of this horror show. The space core? The symbiont must have merged with it when the scientist used it and crashed the asteroid into the station. I better take this with me. Our savior returns. <laughs> I had no doubt that. Yeah, we have to talk, old man. Hmm. I sense you are distressed. I hope I can ease your mind. Yeah, we'll see about that. So, first things first. The cooling system was rigged for a reason. To keep a freaking alien parasite invasion at bay. Uh, you mean... Uh, there were aliens on the cell? For how long? Shouldn't you know the best about this? You're the person who knows all the tea about this place. So, who were Desmond's parents following into the science station? <sighs> hmm. Desmond's parents ventured into the science station for a supply run about mm, 20 years ago. And only Desmond's father lived to tell the tale, right? Actually, he also never came back. We never found his remains. But the sword and shields you carry. Are you telling me that I'm not only carrying the name of Desmond's late mom, but also the gear of his lost dad? I am sorry for not telling both of you earlier. But... It didn't feel like the right moment. Oh, I cared for Desmond and his parents like they were my own children. And I couldn't bring myself to tell him the whole truth. Why not? He's such a nice guy. He has every right to know about his parents' demise. Even if the truth would paint his beloved heroes as terrorists who sabotaged the cell? What you talking about? They are the ones who altered the A.I. of the Dingbots to act aggressive towards our people. They must have had their reasons. From what I uncovered in the science station, the Xel management had some serious colonization shit brewing. And what's up with those zealots out there? Why is no one helping them? Did they look like they want to be helped? Uh, when the management of the cell tore each other apart during the big civil unrest, I tried to rescue as many people as I could, but I needed to make sure they were safe. So, you closed the door of this safe haven behind you. Oh, not my bravest hour. Especially Desmond's parents were very upset about this. Uh, when we opened the gates to see what was left of the world outside, they the first volunteers to explore and document what had changed. And when they saw what had become of this place, they turned rogue? Not exactly. They wanted to... Reed, I've been looking everywhere for you. It's horrible. Wow. Not the kind of you saved the world speech I had expected. It's the Dingbots. They're rushing the Paradox engine. They're seemingly trying to get to the gravity core. Reed should rest up. We owe it to her after all she has done for us. Yeah, we both know this isn't an option. Just point me towards disaster and I'll get it done. The Scorched Wasteland is a pretty dangerous place. You should make sure to prepare. I'll clear a route. And I'm ready to upgrade any of your gear. Uh, the gravity core must not fall into the hands of the Dingbots. We'll continue this conversation after I save the world. Again. I can't believe you pulled it off, and yet we're still up to our necks in this Paradox Engine drama. Yeah, speaking of the Paradox Engine... Is this one of the cores? The Space Core, to be exact. You're just casually carrying this thing around? Well, I don't have any more free space in my face, so... Did you show this to the Elder? Not yet. 
Okay. Let's change topics. What do you know about Desmond's parents? That they were super cool adventurers and like the cutest couple right after us. Anything dark about them? Only that they both come from very pro cell management families. Do you know how they died? They both vanished when the cooling system incident happened. Do you think they had ulterior motives going on there? Rumor has it that they were getting cozy with the Xelots. What's the deal with those guys anyway? They are fanatics, hoping that the management has a plan B, that everything can go back to the old days. So, any pointers regarding the Paradox Engine? The entrance lies deep within the scorched wasteland. The place that burns one to a crisp? It should be relatively safe to enter now, since the cooling system is operational again. Relatively? Well, with the Dingbots going into full-on army mode, nothing is really safe anymore. Well, I'll face the bullshit one misstep at a time. Reed, if you find the gravity core down there, make sure to grab it. Don't you think I have enough crazy stones on me? I think they're safer with you than with anyone else. Desmond, this place is a hellhole! So much worse. Before we go in there, I need to talk to you about something. We don't have time to talk right now. If the Dingbots get their clunky little hands on... I know you named me after your mom. That's, um... Awkward, but that's not my point. I found an audio log. She tried to warn us. You heard my mom's voice? Yes. She and your dad were on a mission, got betrayed, and that's when they... they... Can we not talk about this right now? Sorry, ma'am, but I won't drop this. I think all of this, I mean everything, is connected. Okay, but can we go over this while we bash in some dingbot heads? Deal. You ready? Well, it's us two against dozens of them. So it's a fair fight, then. Really? Sorry, I always wanted to say that. So, regarding the name you chose for me... I'm sorry, okay? Look, I didn't choose it in a creepy Oedipus complex kind of way. I'm almost always the superhero in my head. And the way you defeated that Overseer, without even flinching? It's okay, Des. She seemed like a kick-ass person. I'll honor her name. What did her voice sound like in that audio log? Like a genuine superheroine. Thank you, Reed. It's done. I 
hope we can catch a break until they vote for a new leader. Let's grab the gravity core and get out of here. Sure, you want to start the procedure? Let's do this. So you really think this is going to work? It will be sufficient. Believe me. Are you sure Excel doesn't stand for you excelling in motivational speeches? Oh. I am sorry, Reed. <laughs> I am nervous as well. I believe you have the two paradox cores on you. Right? Yeah, I thought I would make a better carrier than a mutated animal or a dingbot with world domination aspirations. Perfect. We will need their energies to power this device, actually. Isn't that a bit overkill? Oh, no. It is absolutely necessary for what we are about to do. Please enter them into the machine. Let's just hope this doesn't teleport the device and me into a wall. Uh, make yourself comfortable in that chair. These constraints are really reassuring. Chap, could you come over here and help me real quick adjusting the machine? Uh, my hands are a tad fickle these days. What are you guys doing over there? Oh, just making sure everything goes as planned. Until the machine and your mind are ready, I wanted to use the time to answer your questions I couldn't before. Okay, cool. Since we're both going nowhere, I actually have a few. What's your role in all of this? How did you become the leader of Needleye? Eye? And how come you're still alive way over 80 when everyone else around here is young? <sighs> uh, my parents were poor, sick. Only people that could be of use were allowed on the cell project. So I became one of the assistants to the management, who was one of the biggest benefactors of the cell. Wait, you were part of the management? How? Oh, I learned early on. That if you want to survive, you need to adapt. My parents died because they accepted their fate of being poor and miserable. I realized if you accept to be expendable, you always will be. So I listened, learned, played by their rules, and eventually became one of them. Did you fight the system from within then? I fought for no one but myself. I wanted to live. But being among them, I realized something. <laughs> they were clueless. Their greed made them hostile. Even in the most dire hour of humanity. Ah, they fought over pieces of land. They didn't even know when they would reach it. They all plotted against each other. When your people started the riots? My people? Oh, Reed. Haven't you figured it out yet? <laughs> you are from here. You are no fancy astronaut. Wait, how do you know what I... Chap? Ah, uh, yes. Your little buddy live-streamed everything you did. But don't be mad at him. He didn't know. But why? What kind of sick scheme is this? I need to keep my people and myself safe. And Chap was the perfect tool to be sure you were not trying to doom us all. I freaking saved this whole station and brought you the cores. What more do you want from me? <laughs> you have no idea, child. Don't call me child. Where's Chap? 
Oh, he is on. I am here to make things right. What the actual fu- Looks can be deceiving. As I said, I learned early on to adapt. What are you? I am what you made me. Dude, seriously? This is all so freaking creepy and weird. Can you please start to make sense? What happened to you? Just when I felt safe and secure, brokering and dirty secrets between the different parties of the management, a certain someone decided to destroy everything I built. So, it's true. Ah, yes, Reed. Or shall I call you Kara of Sector LJ? You doomed the cell by stealing the Time Core 80 years ago. So you blame me for all this? I'm sure I had my reasons. I lived here. This is my home, too. No. You doomed this place. I built all of this. While you are the reason so many people died. I never intended to do this, I think. You think? You can't even remember who you were. Because you felt oppressed, you incited the riots and used them as a distraction to get to the core. <laughs> you left everyone behind just to show up 80 years later. How do you think I survived this? Obviously not due to a vegan lifestyle. I had to use experimental augmentations and the symbiont that infected the science station. Wait, what? The curious life form is not only feeding on its host, it's actually able to store the life force of consumed prey. Wait, have you been feeding it? So your brains are as fast as your tongue after all. Vanishing villagers? The zealots? You are... you? I... Adapt. With the borrowed time, I hope to fix everything and get us to our destination after all. But your sudden appearance made everything so much easier. I just needed to gather all three cores to jumpstart my own paradox engine. This machine isn't intended to fix my memory, right? I am sorry, Reed. Since you and the core are inseparable, you will have to fill in as the Time Core. With the cores combined, I will jump back in time 80 years into the past and get rid of you and the management. I will help my past self rise to the top. All these years of sacrifices will be worth it, after all. What about the people of Needle Eye? Desmond, Cheryl, the Scavenger Squad. If you change the past, they might never live. Don't be selfish. Easy for you to say. You don't know what I've been through. You never face the consequences of your actions. I'm really sorry for all the harm I've caused. I really am. Let me fix this. Please, don't act like a maniac. Just look at me. I am not the bad guy here, Reed. You thought just because you and your people felt oppressed that you could ruin everything for everyone else. We should have left you and your kind behind on the dying planet. Screw you, you sick asshole! Now, let's right all these wrongs. Wait, you... <laughs> I am sorry you might not survive this, but it doesn't matter, since I will erase all your mistakes, and this reality will never happen. Dad? Dad! Can you, uh, get me in? The system needs to die!
What's happening? Yes! Yes! It works! Farewell, child. Don't worry. I will visit you back in the day and will make sure that this never happened. By destroying you and everyone you hold dear. Everything. But I've doomed all of these people. So many lived a shitty life just because I was angry. I didn't want to play along with their oppressive game and therefore ruined more lives than they ever could. Who knows, man? Maybe they would have had a change of heart. They never had a chance because of me. have to stop him anyway because he's trying to kill my family and he seems to hold a grudge against the workers of Excel and who knows maybe I can fix some of my mistakes on the way Go? Let's hurry before Ascari erases me from existence. What the actual? It looks like. like reality broke. Ascari, what have you done? See what I see? This isn't the past. I mean, it is, but it's the present at the same time. Cheryl! Reed, is that really you? What is happening? When is happening? We should be 80 years in the past, but I don't get it. Why are you here? You mean we've traveled through time? No, that doesn't feel right. It looks like time is folding into itself. Our Excel and the Excel of the past. This can't be good. Oh no, 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 no. I don't know much about quantum physics, but it's obvious that reality will collapse soon. Reed, you need to fix this. How? I fixed most problems so far by punching, but I have the feeling this time that tactic won't fly. You are the Glamazon with the time core stuck in your forehead. You're basically the embodiment of time. What can't you do? You still believe in me? Why shouldn't I? You don't have time to be moody and broody. Find Ascari and fix this. I will try to find a safe spot for our people. Thanks, Cheryl. Kids! Grandma! Look how cool everything looks! Not as cool as Deathman, though. How are you guys not freaked out about this? We are students of Desmond. We know no fear. Yeah, this scavenger squad is never afraid! Maybe a little. I need you to seek shelter until I figure this whole thing out. No, ma'am. We are keeping this area safe. Wait. You're not making fun of me? No, this is serious. There's no time for playing around. Wow, you can actually be pretty mature. Someone around here has to act like an adult. Guys, this is some serious end-of-the-world bullshit. Hey, 
No swearing. I'm gonna miss you little assholes. Why are you being so dramatic? Do you already have these mood swings that come with old age? No, you hurtful little knuckleheads. I'm going to change history, so we might never meet. As long as you don't erase us from existence, I like being alive. Um, this shouldn't be possible, right? If the laws of physics start crumbling, I don't want to find out what breaks next. Rubble, are you okay? Oh, the Wanderer of Worlds makes her final entrance. Yeah, and she comes with an apology. I'm sorry that your life is this way. It's all my fault. Who are you to judge if all those lives you affected have taken a turn for the worse? So many died. Those who survived lost all hope. What about those who had no hope before? Maybe all they needed was to see that the cycle can be broken. What are you trying to say? You are right, Wanderer. Your actions caused plenty of misery. But many people were already pretty miserable. Often, when we are trapped in a seemingly hopeless situation, change can lift your spirits. Great job, Reed. Lifting spirits so much that people get killed. They died fighting for their rights and their bravery. Their legacy lives on to this day. Need a lie. Those are real people with stories to tell. Parents, grandparents, children. You influenced their stories as well. Rubble, I... Wait, how come you're so... Clear? I don't know. It's like this is the moment I was waiting for, guiding you back on your path. Rubble, I can't thank you enough. Go find Desmond, and save reality, Wanderer. Al, you're alive! Huh, guess I am. That's great! Wait, are you selling goods right now? At this time and place? Hmm, guy has to make a living, you know. Never change, Al. Get that stuff fixed, Reed. It's making my belly rumbly. Reed, do you know what's happening? I don't know for sure, but we have to find Ascari and make him stop. The Elder? Is he responsible for this? No, I am. Desmond, I did this to you. Reed, what's going on? Did you get your memory back? Yes. And it was me! I stole the Time Core! I stranded the Excel. I incited the riots that got people killed. I am the reason your parents had to live such a hard life. I am the reason you had such a hard life without your parents. I made you all suffer so much. Your lives were miserable because of my anger. What gives you the right? I'm so sorry. I beg for your forgiveness. Save it. I don't want your excuses. Don't tell me my life, the life of my parents, was lived the wrong way. My parents died doing what they believed in. I have an amazing life. Sure, it gets lonely sometimes. But I've got the villagers, the squad. I got to meet you too. Desmond. Reed, even if it's true and you caused all this, I wouldn't want it any other way. Needle Eye is a freaking paradise. Our people live a happy life, and the Xel is our home. We don't need another planet. I bet we would screw it up anyway after five minutes. Maybe. Maybe you saved us. All of humankind. Maybe this was supposed to happen. Iskari wouldn't agree. He wanted to go back in time to reset everything. But why? He had everything. He had us. Des. 
He was management. He was one of the oppressors. He lost everything. His chance at the new beginning? He's so bitter. Instead of just restoring my memory, he basically tortured me into opening a rift into the past. But it seems he did something that made time collapse. And I have a feeling it might get worse from here. All these years, he was like a father to me. I'm telling you the truth. I promise. I know, Reed. You always do. So lead the way. I'll follow you wherever and whenever we need to be to save our home. Thanks, Des. Are you gonna make fun of me again because I didn't help you with that overseer back when we first met? No, Boy Scout. Thank you for making me believe again. You're welcome. Hey, don't ruin the moment. I think we're running out of time. Whatever that means when time is already broken. Try to ignore your systems, buddy. Nothing makes sense anymore. I believe that Ascari did something that broke the rules of space-time or whatever. To be honest, at this point, I'm just assuming the worst. For a needle eye! look and sound so familiar it's creepy i am nothing like you maniacal rioters reed and me mean you no harm reed who told you that name was it my wife is she pregnant whoa this place is driving me nuts wait does this mean you're my grandpa what are you talking about Evander? How do you know my name? The taste in exotic names runs in the family. You have to trust me. We're trying to save everyone. The man you're protecting is behind all of this chaos. It sounds insane, but time is falling apart, and we've come from the future in order to stop Ascari. So, my daughter makes it to our new home safe. Look, uh, the cell never reaches its destination. But your daughter, my mother, she became the biggest hero for the people of Needle Eye and kept them safe when the management failed them. She stood up against our management? Yeah. She stood tall and led the underprivileged into a new age of safety. So the management was eventually eradicated. Yeah. Um, Des? I don't think he's... Your daughter helped smash the system. My own blood. Please, Evander. Grandpa, join our fight and let us save the future. I will. Her. Why? I swore to fight for the Xel. But if my own blood is the bane of my beloved Xel, then I know what my duty is. B but Grandma, she's not... Not yet. Never will be. <sighs> um, Reed? Des? Oh my god, Desmond! I feel really weak. No, 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 no. Stay with me, buddy. It was so cool to have someone to go on adventures with. What's happening to you? My mom, she would have really liked you, you know? Desmond? No.
Reed. It seems I just can't get rid of you. You're not fixing the past. You're breaking time itself. Can't you see, Reed? I have become more than just a time traveler. I have become... The Paradox. This ends now. <laughs> What's right or wrong? You are a weak and childish person. You are unable to adapt. Adapt to this. Excitement down a notch, would ya? Ugh, what the? We're back in Ascari's hut. Wait, are we back or? You guys made it! Oh, welcome back, Wanderer! I knew we could count on you, kid. I'm so happy to see you, everyone. That was trippy. Who would have thought the bitterness in Elder's heart would push him to go this far? And to think that I helped him with his machine. It's all good, Cheryl. It actually brought my memory back. And I have to say, I'm sorry. Sorry that my anger hurt so many of your families so many years ago. Kid, we are all good. I mean, life is tough here, but it is an honest life. Wow, Al. I never saw you as the talkative type. But he's right. The past is the past, baby. And we're all a product of it. And as long as we fight for a better future... You guys are really cheesy. If you knuckleheads are the future, we might need to do better. It's good to see that you're all well. Wait, where's Desmond? Who? Des! Desmond, the Boy Scout? The idol of the Scavenger Squad? The what? This is no joke. Tell me where Desmond is. Hey, Reed, easy. Please, you're scaring the kids. You're all here. You remember Ascari, but not Desmond? That's... not fair. Was this Desmond someone you met in the past? He... and his parents... were heroes. I'm sorry for your loss, Reed. But we really should be out there celebrating. You saved Needle Eye, the gazelle, everyone. Because of you, we have a future. Anything is possible. Go on, it's time for the fireworks. Yeah, you guys go ahead. I just need a minute. Ho ho ho! In one thing he was right! Escari, the elderly traitor. Now is not the time for nonsense, Rubble. Exactly. Not now. Anything is... 
is possible. Are you sure you want to come along, buddy? I really don't know where this will take us. Okay, let's hope we don't mess things up. That's true. <laughs> 